Now that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has received emergency authorization to use over the weekend, that makes three vaccines that are now on the market. And Johnson & Johnson is expected to arrive in Texas this week. Nicole Jacobs is live in Dallas this morning with a look at the rollout. Nicole. Karen, although Johnson & Johnson's vaccine does not have the same efficacy percentage as Moderna's and Pfizer's, Dr. Anthony Fauci says if you have an opportunity to get it, you should. If I were not vaccinated now and I had a choice of getting a J&J &J vaccine now or waiting for another vaccine, I would take whatever vaccine would be available to me as quickly as possible. Dr. Fauci says we now have three tools to fight against the potentially deadly virus. And while the focus across the country has been on vaccinating frontline workers, patients 65 years old and older, and those with chronic illnesses, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins says he will focus the county's initial 6,000 doses on the homeless and those who are incarcerated because this vaccine only requires one dose. But the rollout of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has proven to be somewhat slower than the previous ones, to which the COVID response coordinator has expressed disappointment. You're going to see a few million doses, I mean, literally a handful. But by the end of March, there'll be 20 million, and then there will be a total of 100 million as we get probably to June, as we get halfway through the year. And it is also important to note, according to Johnson & Johnson, this vaccine is also effective against other variants of the virus. For now, we're live in Dallas this morning. Nicole Jacobs, Karen, back into you. All right, Nicole, thank you.